Hello everybody, it's Nereality here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Woohoo! Yay! Figures, pretty plastic, expensive plastic, and boobs. So yes, we have a figure in front of us, which is in a silhouette. So boo to the silhouette, but it is a very beautiful figure of a girl who has just had some fun. Yes, and it is an adult figure, so we are all big boys and girls, we're men and women here. So we shall remain that way. But yes, this is Yuzuki Kana, who is an original character. I think she was originally illustrated for the cover of the Comic Own magazine. And she is illustrated by Misaki Kurihito. And we know how we love his artwork. Uh, this is by Skytube, which is the division of Alpha Max that does their adult figures. Uh, she is a 1-6 scale figure, so she's going to be quite large. Uh, she came out on October 27th, 2017, so yay. Uh, I ordered her way, way back on uh, March March 16th, 2017, when she first went up for pre-order at AmiAmi. And I paid 12,770 yen for her. Or, at the time of conversion, $115.75. I also have another Skytube figure from kind of the same line, even though they are original characters. We have Sakura Hina. So we shall compare Hina and Kana later. So we'll put Hina off to the side and we'll look at Kana again. So like I said, the front of Kana's box is pretty simple. It's got a silhouette of her, which is kind of boo, but then you realize it's Velcroed. And you can open it. And now you can see Hina inside the box. And she is wrapped in some cloth because she is exposed. And we can also see on the inside of the flap the original artwork that she is based off of. Yay, very beautiful. Unfortunately, we had the blinding white light of censorship doom. But I suppose they have to do that to be able to sell them in stores. So yay. We'll go ahead and close the flap again. And we'll spin the box around, and there is the side of her. Looks like you've got some information about her. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll translate it through the Google Translate app. Uh, there is the back of her box with a couple glamour shots of her. And, yeah, blinding white latest censorship doom, revealing the accessory, proving she has just had some fun. There is the side of her box. And then... There is the top of her box, pretty plain and simple, silhouette of her and her name. And then, you know, she's got a plain, boring bottom. Well, at least the box does. Her bottom, eh, it's not quite so plain and boring. <laughs> so yes, it's time to get her open. So we have the standard three seals. One on each side of the open top. And then we try to open her and fail because I suck at opening boxes. There we go. And then we can pull her out. Uh, there are some instructions in there. And the inside of the box is just pink and white pinstripes. Well, pink and pink. <laughs> uh, instructions are two-sided. There is a little bit of putty, which you're supposed to use to... Uh, Stick her cups on her boobs. I've read it may not be 100% necessary, so I'm going to leave it in the little packaging right now. So there are her instructions. So you can take her skirt off, you can take her undies off, and you can put her back together. And you can swap her hands from the peace sign to the hand holding certain things. And you can insert the certain thing. This is saying put putty on her bra cups so, and you can stick it to her boobs and stick it to her boobs and how to put her necktie on. And this is a little warning saying, hey, her tie is magnetic. Be careful with it. So we shall be careful with it. And now we have a good view of Kana in her blister packaging if we can get some of the glare off of it. So once again, she is wrapped in some, uh, you know, op opaque coverings, covering her boobs, because there's her bra pieces. 
There is the side of her. There is the back of her. And the other side and back to the front. Now before you get ideas in your head. The reason that I fell in love with this figure is her hair. I really love her hair. The rest of her body is nice too, but I love her hair. So yes, let's go ahead and get the blister open. So once again, we've got standard tape on the sides. And then we can pop her open. And her base goes flying. So the base is sculpted to look like wood flooring. It's okay. Got some pegs for her feet. And the bottom is pretty boring. It says Sky Tube Alpha Max Company Limited 2017, made in China and some Chinese writing or Japanese writing. So we'll put that up there. Uh, next we'll pull out. Eh, let's go with uh her out of the way because there's plastic under her covering everything. Let's start with her bra. So the bra is in separate pieces. It does feel kind of kind of rubbery almost. It's got a little texture to it. Uh, the top does have a like maroon stripe on it. It is separated in the front so there is no attaching it. One of them has a little strap that goes over her shoulder to make it look more like a bra. The other one is just a little like teardrop shape. Uh, the insides, they do have little indents for her nipples, so yay. I'm still deciding this may be the first figure that I display ca cast off. Because that bra is kind of crappy, but we'll see. We'll see how it stays on. If I can avoid the putty, I would rather avoid the putty as well. Uh, next, we'll look at her shoes, which she has kicked off because she has that she has just had some fun. Not that she could put her feet in there anyway, since it's solid plastic. But the shoes are very shiny looking. They do look like your standard loafers, schoolgirl shoes. Got some heels. They would be very slippery because there is no tread on the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, they look good. And you can just screw them wherever you want. Uh, next, we'll pull out her alternate hand. So there is her alternate hand, which holds things. You can see it kind of... Her forefinger, pointer finger and thumb are making a little pinching shape. All of her fingers are dainty and sculpted nicely. We do see her pointer finger and middle finger are welded together a bit. And I mean it's sculpted pretty good. Her fingernails have some nice pink paint on them. So yeah, dainty little hand. Let's get that out. So her accessory is a used condom with a little knot tied in the end. Hopefully she's not planning on saving that for later. There's been stories. But yes, it is definitely full. So she has definitely just finished having some fun. And then we have her tie. They use some sticky plastic to make sure everything stays in its place. So it's kind of annoying to get everything off. So her tie comes in two pieces. We're done with the blister for now. And the pieces are magnetic, supposedly. Uh, at least that one is. It's got a little magnet right there. I guess it sticks to her chest. This one goes up from the bottom of her boobs. And this one goes around her neck and down into the top of her cleavage. So it looks like it's going into her boobs, but it is actually two separate pieces. There's little uh, flower patterns on it too. Stripes and flower patterns. So it's a pretty dang detailed tie. Even on the back you can see the lines where they've sewed it together. So yay. Nice little touch. And then 
the piece de resistance, we have Kana. Uh, Kana will stand on her own. She is balanced. Even though she is kind of leaning forward a bit. I mean, I definitely would suggest not leaving her like this. And it depends on how you put her and how level your table is. So yeah, definitely use her base. Uh, we'll take the opaque plastic off and see her boobs. Uh, we'll take her head off. Actually, I think her hand comes out first. Then we'll take her head off. Then we'll take the plastic off there. Uh, we'll take her waist off. Maybe. It's a very tight fit. Coming off apart for the first time. Take the plastic off of that. Take her skirt off. Take the plastic off of that. And the important question is pinkish white underwear. So we'll put all the plastic off to the side. And then since she's coming out in pieces, there is a little seam right there. So you can separate the underwear apart, maybe. Okay, so you have to pull the underwear up. You don't pull them apart, you pull the back up and there's a little latch right there. And then we can take the underwears off as well. Remember, we're adults here. Slide it down her other leg. And there we go, she is sculpted. Which makes sense because she has a condom and she has had fun. So, we'll start with her head because why not? There is her expression. She is a very happy girl. She's got a little moe fang. Her eyes are very, very beautiful. She's got some detailed ears under her hair. And man, she has a lot of hair. Uh, she's got some scrunchies holding her hair into little pigtails. There is the top of the hair. I mean, look at all the sculpting. Look at all the shading. And look at all, all the strands and everything. Very, very beautiful hair. And you can see where it like goes over her shoulders. So, yeah. Very beautiful face. Very beautiful girl. She is blushing a little bit. And like I said, she's got a little moe thing. Uh, next, we'll look at her other hand. She is making the peace sign. This one is not meant to hold things. Uh, once again, she has a little bit of pink paint on her fingernails. And the other two fingers are curled up under her hand. So yay. Uh, there is her skirt. It has some nice bunching around the crotch. And it rests over her booty. Uh, the stripe lines on them are pretty dang clean. I don't even see a start or end point on them. Which you would normally see. So good job Alpha Max. A little bit of crud on it. But that's because my table is not the cleanest. There is her underwear. Cute little bow on the front. There's the crotch part of it and the booty part of it. It's digging in a little bit, a little bit small underwear. And there is the little attachment point. You have to be very careful with that. Uh, my uh, Himikawa Hayuru has a similar one for her bra and that broke off, so gotta be careful. Next, we'll look at her torso piece. So she is still wearing her shirt, but it is very loose and coming off. It's only buttoned by one little button. You can see the button holes and the other buttons as well. She has some very nice boobs, kind of bulbous, very large, welded together a little bit, nice pink nipples, and a little bit of a strange shape, maybe just because they. she is leaning forward a little bit, so they're hanging a bit. Uh, her shirt has some pinkish, purplish shading in there and lots and lots of sculpting wrinkles and everything. Very detailed. Nice clavicle bones and, you know, tendons in her neck. And there is her hand, which is permanently attached, which is supposed to be resting on her knee or thigh or whatever. Painted fingernails, dainty fingers. All of them are separate this time. And she has some palm lines a little bit. 
Not a whole lot of them, but a very nice dainty hand. There is her attachment point. So yes, very nice torso. And then we have her feet. So we can see her toes sculpted a little bit under the stockings. You can see her ankles. And there are the peg holes on the bottom of her feet. She has some nice knees. We can focus. Got some shading around the edges of them and backs of the knees. And yes, like I said, she is sculpted. Uh, no, no butthole, no anus, but she has some nice cheeks. And she has a belly button, a little bit of a poochy belly. So yeah, definitely had some fun. Um, yes, let's see here. What was I going to do? How was I going to do this? Uh, so first of all, I wanted to kind of see if we could get her bra pieces on without the putty. And that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So for the purposes of this unboxing, she's going to be cast off. Because uh, the bra is uh, kind of a pain to put on without that putty. And I don't want to mess with the putty right now. But this is kind of what she would look like with her bra on. So yay. As you can see, it doesn't attach in the center or anything. Uh, that cup stays on pretty nicely, pretty well. If, yeah, it, we'll, we'll just leave the bra off for this. Just remember, you can use it, and there is uh, some putty to use. Uh, also, I wanted to we'll just put her tie on as well. So this piece just goes over her neck and into her cleavage. And this piece goes up from the bottom. And... Magnets onto her chest. So yeah, it kind of looks like her tie is going into her cleavage. If only it wasn't for that weld, weld line. It is a little bit loose. So yeah. Uh, we'll take this off for now so we don't accidentally lose it. And we'll display her kind of pretty much cast off. Take her tie off too. Uh... Put her head on, being careful with the hair because we don't want paint transfers. Um, I'm going to stick her on her base. Um, if I tilt this down a bit, we can see that her feet don't really line up with the pegs the greatest, so you got to spread the legs a little bit. And try to get the holes lined up with the pegs. But then once you get them on, she's pretty stable. Uh, and we'll use the uh, accessory. So we'll put in her pinching hand. And we'll put it into her hands. This is kind of a fiddly little operation. It's not a very tight fit. So you may be... It's possible you may lose that little accessory if you decide to use it. So yes, we have Kana. And she has had some fun. She has definitely just had some fun. And she is happy about it. She's presenting her prize. Imagine... The, just imagine the act and how that came out of her yes so we'll do a spin around of her as cast off as she gets so once we get to the back we can see her booty and her crotch a little bit and like I said she is leaning forward a little bit presenting her boobs and her prize she is a very very pretty girl very beautiful sculpted very nicely she is quite large um, since I said we would compare her with Hina, we'll pull up Hina, and we'll take Hina's bra off as well. At least we'll try to. Come on, there we go. So we can kind of compare the scales a bit. Um, 
Of course, Hina seems a lot smaller because she is kind of kneeling down. So if we lift her up, yeah, the heads seem to be about the same size. Boobs seem to be about the same size. So they go together pretty nicely. Definitely both of them just had some fun, even though Hina looks a little worried about it. Ah, we'll put her off to the side again. And we'll go back to Kana. So now we'll take her apart again and we'll put her together as close as she's going to get without her bra because I don't want to mess with the putty right now. So once again, we have to be very careful with the hair because there's a lot of it and paint transfers are a thing. Uh, take her off the base first. I forgot we have to wrap the underwear around her leg. So the underwear can go once again. The sealed part of the underwear goes up her left leg and goes up, wraps around the other leg. And then you fiddle with it to get it nice and tight around her crotch region. And then you snap it together. Remember, be very careful with the little snap because it can break. Uh, we do get to see a nice butt crack under the, you know, tight underwear. So that's a nice little touch. Um, and if you want, you can display her with just her underwear on. Or you can display her with just her skirt on and no underwear. It's up to you, really. And then we'll put her torso back on. Uh, stick her onto the base. Once again, again, remembering that the pegs, we have to spread her legs a little bit. There we go. Then we'll put her head on. Once again, being very careful with her hair use her boobs for a little bit of leverage and then we'll put her hand in giving kind of sort of figuring it is keyed so it only goes in one way so she is giving us the little peace sign and like i said maybe the hair will help hold the bra on a little bit nope not really so you'll want to use the putty That one would go under her hair. The strap would go under her hair a little bit. And I forgot something. So we got to take her hand off again. Take her head off. Put her tie on. And then put her head back on. And then put her hand back on. And put the bottom piece of the tie on. There we go. So, th and then throw her shoes on there because why not? She just had some fun. So there she is with her boobs out and no bra on because I, like I said, I don't want to mess with the putty. But she, even it clothed, she is a very sexy figure. So definitely the adults only figure. She is still quite, quite beautiful. And I am glad I got her. She was one of those where I saw her and I'm like, I have to have her. And then to compare her once again with Hina, put Hina's bra back on. Hers actually stays on. So there are the two comic own Misaki Kurehito girls. They look very, very nice. I love the shading on them. I love the sculpting on them. I just love their overall design. I And the hair. The hair. You gotta have the hair. Focus a little bit, please. Yes. And once again, Hina is cast offable, but we have her clothes on. So anyways, this is Yuzuki Kana with her extra hand and her used condom because she just had some fun, consensual fun. 
uh, Yuzuki Kana. She is an original character from the cover of the Comic Aun magazine, Comic A-U-N, however you say that. And she is illustrated by Misaki Kurehito. She is manufactured by Alpha Max, aka Skytube, and is a 1 6 scale. She is quite large. Uh, she was released on October 27th of 2017. I ordered her on March 16th of 2017. And she is kind of a little bit expensive at 12,770 yen. I bought her brand new at AmiAmi. And I, if you convert that to USD when I paid a couple days ago, she was $115.75. So, I hope you enjoyed this cutie. I'm out. Bye-bye.